I want to taste. I want to taste of this. Right. I'm ready when you are. It is. Oh, it's going. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer View. You have the Rhino and you have the Salvation Army. Hello. Hi. We have a beer. <laughs> we have from Moreland in England, we have Old Golden Hen. So, oh, excuse me. I hope that smells good too. Uh, old Golden Hen, they they do make a Old Speckled Hen, an Old Golden Hen, and an Old Crafty Hen. And uh, yeah, so this is the Old Golden Hen, 4.1% alcohol. Uh, they are sold in singles and six packs. The six packs are all open. I picked it up in Amherst, New York at Premier Beverages. Well, Premier Gourmet. So when I picked this up, I went up to the shelf and I moved the seven bottles that were in front and grabbed this one in the back because of the clear bottle. Wanted to try and make sure that we got one that wasn't skunky. Or Probably we got one did. that was really, really old. Yep. Lee said that the old crafty hen is 6.5. Well, thank you, Lee. Help and then moment. someone else said that if you guys kiss, they'll be in heaven. Who said that? Infidel. I'll make it with Infidel. Chad. Infidel. I don't, know who that is. I don't know how my wife would take that. I don't know how anyone would take that. I'm a little stubbly right now, too. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so like you saw, golden color, a little bit of head, a little bit of carbonation moving. It's nice and golden, too. It's not like that. Smell-wise, it's a lot like, uh, it is a lot like the Old Speckled Hen. You're getting a lot of malt. Yeah. A little tiny bit of skunk. And the Rare Galaxy it smells hop. sweet. It does smell sweet. It says it's made with Rare Galaxy Hop. <laughs> does it? Yeah. Well, we'll find out if it's made with Galaxy Hop. Cheers. Yeah. That's really fucking good. That's refreshing. Oh my god, it's Old Speckled Hen without the nasty taste. Yeah, that's got no really funky uh, flavors on the back of the tongue. It's got no funky flavors anywhere. It's just a little a bit hoppy. Well-rounded beer. Yeah, and it's a little bit hoppy. Um, your malt, your malt characteristic up at the forefront isn't much. It's kind of like it's kind of dry and straw-like, truthfully. Your background, a little bit of a hot bitterness just emanating up at the very back of your throat. Um, it talks about galaxy hops. I can't really taste it, so I don't know how much they threw in there, but whatever. This is a delicious beer. It is. It's it's well rounded. It's a session beer. It's four one, so it's a session beer, and this is a beer that would easily 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 <laughs> be sessionable. Especially like you know after you finish work or whatever you come home. Yeah, you just want a nice cold beer. You want you want that carbonation. You want that flavor. It, it would be great. This is actually it, yeah. you know what I would I would say it would be amazing for after work if it wasn't in the clear bottle because in the clear bottle you can't keep it around for as long. Right. Well, you could, but you're gonna start getting that skunk smell, yeah. and then you'll start getting that skunk taste, and then you just won't want it anymore. Well, how long have you had this in the fridge for? I picked this up a few days ago, but how long has it been oh, in the okay, store okay. for? I don't know. Um, I'd give this a 725 though. It's not, it's not something that, oh my god, I'd run out and pick up. But if I was around and I saw this and I had the extra money to buy it, I would. I'd give this an 8. Sure. I'd right. give it an 8.5. I find it really tasty. So you have an 8.5 from the Manchild, an 8 from the Salvation Army, and a 725 from me. We all liked it. We'd all buy it again. Just different stages of where we were with it. So this was, uh, Moreland's Old Golden Hen. Thank you guys. Au revoir. I'll be in tow.